Inside the shipping container, heat trapping carbon dioxide is being transformed into more environmentally friendly biomass. And it's all thanks to microalgae. The algae is exposed to light and the CO2, driving the photosynthesis of converting uh, energy and uh, this photon energy and CO2 into biomass. It's the brainchild of the Danish company Algae Cell. The algae is used because it can absorb huge amounts of carbon dioxide. We need to make it easy for decision makers with a CO2 challenge to remove their, uh, their CO2 from their process. And, uh, and thus, we are applying the, uh, the ways of nature, you know, algae and photosynthesis, to solve one of the biggest challenges of our time. You know, how can you remove CO2 uh, without making it a burdensome process for the owners of the CO2? The byproduct is oxygen and omega-3 rich biomass, which could possibly be used as feed for livestock and the omega-3 oils sold to cosmetic companies. The technology is still in its infancy, but Algae Cell hopes to build a full-scale production plant in 2023.